why do I always push the envelope? So, I started out, you know, I wanted to, uh, I applied for a job at Fanshawe as the editor of their paper, I didn't get it. Uh, and I was at the Stratford Beacon Herald doing an internship, and I wanted to write entertainment. Well, guess what? I wasn't allowed to do that. I had to do the council meetings and this and then that, and I thought, well, based on all the things that are going on in my life, and entertainment and music especially, I want to write entertainment. So I went to the, I went right back to, I went to Imprint. I started off with FM Times, then I wrote for Imprint, and then I got into the Chronicle. And I said, well, there's this really great music scene happening. And the editor at the time uh, just said, okay, go ahead and cover this stuff. So I did. You know, I covered all these young bands like the Master Beats and, and uh, uh, Cheap, like all these bands that came to town. Torso Column, The Gathering, Anonymous Behavior, Night at the Helm, um, The Dice was huge. Uh, so I'd done some of this for FM Times, but I started doing some of the Chronicle, you know, and there's no... This is resist for me. Everybody, and, they, and I got a, I paid. I got to tell you, I got a reputation. I would come down to the Chronicle, oh, her earrings, look at how long her earrings are, you know. But I would come in and I would, I would, back then, you, you know, you would type your stuff up and you would take it down and hand it to the editor, you know, tangible way. Or if I was writing stuff in Toronto, I had to stick it on the bus and send it down by PPX. But I resisted that way where everybody else, you know, I'm thinking, I, I never got into the record you know, back then, because I was just considered too, cons like, too avant-garde, too weird, you know, because of the stuff I was writing about. Oh, Excessive Francidity was probably the band, you know. Um, Ian Ferguson, who's a visual artist in the area, uh, was wearing a, a mini kilt and fishnet stockings, and this is, I th it's right here, actually, I got it on it. Excessive Francidity lives up to its name, it was a Chronicle special. And it was the front, you know, it was the cover of the entertainment section in the Warren Chronicle, which is like a, you know, now owned by the record, but back then, people would want to know what was going on in the alternative scene. <laughs> they used to read the Chronicle. This is before Echo, It, Spotlight, any of this stuff. So I guess, I used to think about this, if, and this is, I think, before the, oh god, I'm so old. This is the, between, this is, this is before the word alternative was even coined. I was writing alternative stuff. I just, to me, it was just like, this is exciting. I want to write about it. And if they'll publish it, what the hell?